Hello and welcome back to Everything Gaming and today I am bringing you guys another Forzathon guide. Now for those of you who don't know, this is where I show you the quickest and easiest ways to complete this week's Forzathon event. Now this week's one, called Thoroughbred, wants you to use the 2013 Caterham Superlight R500 to complete all of its challenges. Now this can be picked up for 82,000 credits in the auto show or you can pick it up a bit cheaper in the auction house if you want to go that route but it's entirely down to yourself. There is also a Forza edition one but for the purposes of this video I'm just using the standard one. Now I have also created a tune for you guys to use called Forza Thon Easy. The share code for that is 283-288-774 so if you want to use the tune which always makes things a bit quicker you can use that one. Now the first challenge here just wants you to earn 5 threading the needle skills. Now threading the needle skill is actually fairly easy, it's just when you get 2 near misses in between 2 cars and it will pop up with a threading the needle skill. Now like I said theoretically it is quite easy. First of all though what I recommend doing is heading into Horizon Solo. Now the reason for this is because there is much more AI traffic on the roads when you're in solo mode compared to when you're in online mode so you've got more chance of getting the threading the needle skill like i said there's less ai cars in online now i also recommend going to the motorway to complete this challenge the reason being is because again there is a much denser population of ai cars and i'm sure when you've seen me do similar challenges this is what i always do now like i said a threading the needle skill theoretically is very very easy you just have to drive straight through the middle of two different cars and it will basically pop up with two near misses skill skills followed by a threading the needle skill now like i said theoretically it's all really easy but it really depends on the placement of the ai cars and if they're in the, the right places it might take you a couple of minutes to find a couple next to each other or like me you might have been able to complete it in under five minutes but like i said you've got more chance of doing it if you're in horizon solo and on the motorway as that's where more of the ai cars are and it won't really work too well online because all the other sort of driver tar cars are actual people online and there's not that many ai cars to do it with but like i said all you have to really do is drive in between two cars and you'll get a thread in the needle skill now the next challenge here wants you to earn a total of nine stars from danger signs which again is a really really easy challenge so to do this i headed over to ambleside edge now in order to get three stars on here you only have to basically jump 650 feet so if you can do that three times then that's the challenge complete you'll have earned nine stars and the good thing about this is you don't need too much of a run up so like i said you don't really need the car to be tuned but it does always help so 650 feet really easy to get first round there 834 so a nice three stars and then it's a really quick drive back up to the main road and then you can line up to do the jump again like I said, it's really easy. You don't need to do a massive run up. There's no sort of complicated twists and turns before the jump. It's just a straight shot onto the jump and then you'll probably easily hit over 800 feet. Even if the car's stock, you'll probably still hit over 700. And again, 834 feet, what are the odds? Um, but all you have to do is the third time after that and that's the challenge complete. Now the final challenge here wants you to win four road circuit events which again is very easy. Now just quickly make sure you do the circuit events so you'll see the little ring in the icon and also it will say circuit and avoid the sprint ones otherwise it won't count. Now I headed over to the Moorhead Wind Farm circuit as it's one of the shortest circuits I know. It takes about 40 seconds to complete one lap. Now I've not created a specific race but I've created a blueprint so it's called One Lap Easy and the share code for that is 676155178 and literally all it is is one lap of the Moorhead Wind Farm. Now you can go ahead and create your own blueprint event for this or you can really create your own race if you want to do that but it's probably a lot less effort just to go up to the normal race and do a one lap blueprint or if you don't want to do that you can just download the blueprint that i have created which again like i said it's just one lap now all you have to do is win four of these as long as you're in your caterham it's really quite easy it doesn't matter what difficulty it's on that's a good thing about it being a forza -thon event it doesn't have to be on highly skilled driver tiles like the festival playlist challenges it can be on easy or it can be on expert it really doesn't matter so if you are struggling you can always turn down the difficulty and like i said it does always help to have a tune it will help you complete the race a bit quicker but you can always do it stock if you want to do it that way. It's entirely down to yourself. So overall, this week's Forza-thon really doesn't take too long, maybe 10 minutes max, including loading times. So it's a really, really nice and easy one to get this week's festival playlist off. 
Now I hope this video did help you out. Hopefully if it did, uh, you can say so down below in the comments, but I would very much appreciate if you dropped a like. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe as well for more content just like this. And don't forget as well to stick around because in a couple of hours, I'll be uploading a guide to this week's photo challenge as well. But apart from that, folks, I want to wish you all the best. Make sure you stay safe and take care.